When you first see John and Rebecca Scheller's new Green Max home, these solar panels might tip you off to something unique here. At, at first, I thought they were, they were pretty big, but we've really gotten used to them, and frankly, I kind of don't even notice them much right. anymore. Step inside, and you'll need a little help from the Schellers to notice the other features that help make this a net zero energy use home. Well, there's a lot of things that are sort of behind the walls that you can't see. What you can see are things like this energy saving switch near every sink and shower. Like this sink, if you press this button, um, every, every one has a button, you press that button and it brings hot water on demand to the sink. So you don't have to you know, open up your tap and wait 30, 40 seconds for hot water to come out. There's also high efficiency LED lighting, energy saving appliances, Energy Star windows strategically placed to take advantage of daylight, and other creative energy saving solutions. So in the master closet, we actually have a solar tube. Uh, and this is nice because it creates natural light by kind of reflecting against the tube itself. And this is something that anybody could add to their home if they wanted to make a small construction project and, and kind of add natural light. In the lower level, the Schellers explain how the photovoltaic solar panels work. They, they track the sun automatically uh, throughout the day. Um, so right now, they're uh, facing west as, as the sun is somewhat heading down. Uh, and then they'll turn back um, and be ready in the morning when the sun rises. The Scheller's solar system is connected to the electric distribution system of Stoughton Utilities. If everything goes well, the Schellers could actually earn money from the electricity they generate. We're going to be generating as much ener energy as we're using. More of the behind the walls energy saving features are here in the basement. Since the house is so well insulated, there's an air exchange system. There's ground source or geothermal heat pumps to heat and cool the home and there's more structural plumbing innovations. The tap cold comes in right here, and it's on the very bottom, and it's wrapped all the way up. Even the simple New England salt box design of the home made it easier to insulate and more energy efficient. Shaw Building and Design built the Scheller's house. The company's owner says they used the same methods they would use on most homes, and energy efficiency comes from attention to detail. It's definitely the future for builders. I mean, any builder who's willing to uh, build homes like this are just going to stand out because there's not that many of us doing it yet. I'd also like to thank John and Rebecca very much for stepping up and, and doing this important project. Um, it is At this Earth Day uh, so dedication, WPPI Energy thanked the Shellers for their efforts to go net zero. Funding from WPPI's Green Max Home Initiative will help pay for some of the energy saving features in the home. That energy efficiency is something we all benefit from. It will help us long term keep power costs uh, reasonable because the cost of new generation is much, much higher than the cost of the existing system. WPPI and its members are hopeful more people will follow the Scheller's lead. A homeowner wouldn't have to go to the extreme of designing a net zero energy home, but there's a lot of things that they could learn from this project that they can incorporate into their own homes and save energy and costs. The Schellers say they encourage everyone to do at least some of what they've done because homes like theirs are our future. Even though it's a greenhouse and it's a net zero house, it's, it's it can fit in anywhere, really. We pretty much got exactly what we wanted. 